Hey guys, in today's video, I decided I want to talk a little bit about uh, one of my goals that I've been working on this new year, final semester of college, and that's just trying to get out more in general um, throughout college and really life in general. I've never been one to like go out to parties or go to social events or like these activities all my friends were going to. Um, so my big one of my big goals starting this year was that I wanted to start pretty much anytime I was invited to a party or invited to hang out or go to some kind of event. I'm trying to say yes to as many of those events as I can with um, just kind of feeling things out because I know majority of the time I go to these events and I usually end up not having a really great time. And sure, it's possible that maybe I'm just not the kind of person that enjoys going to activities or hanging out with people. But I feel like I haven't given it enough of a fair chance and it might be one of those things where you just have to kind of get in the groove of it, get used to it before it starts becoming something you enjoy. Um, just one of those things I started when I was thinking about, like, when I go to start working after I graduated, I've always been like, oh, once I graduate, things will get better. But realistically, I was looking back on things and realizing once I graduate, I'm going to go to work from 8 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m., whatever it is. And then what? Like, am I just going to drive back home every day and hang out alone in my room, which is kind of like what I do over the summer and stuff. Um, maybe I'll set up time to meet with someone on a weekend or after work sometimes, but very rarely. But my hope is that once I start working and stuff, I'll have this foundation set up from this past semester to this beginning of the year where I'll be more willing to say yes to things like going out to happy hours and things like that. I'm not a drinker. And I never will be, I presume, but I feel like I should at least be starting to say yes to those kind of events when I'm in the workplace, just going out with a group of guys or like whoever's going out that night to hang out. I feel like I should be saying yes to more of those activities. So the reasons, some of the reasons aside from just not enjoying going out that I haven't done it in the past, like throughout college, throughout even high school and growing up was I don't like parties really even though i haven't given them a fair shot i don't like hanging out with people that much i want to i'm a fairly social person i'm decent at talking to people and like making okay conversation but it's not usually something i like have a ton of fun with um a big reason recently has just been a mix of not wanting to spend money not having a good means to like travel so if i wanted to say go to the city and hang out at the bar kind of thing i mean at most bars even if i don't drink is you have to pay something to kind of get in or be around or in most cases I have to at least buy a drink to seem normal. Um, even if I don't really drink it just to have something in my hand and that's kind of been a big reason. And also travel wise, I don't have a car on campus. I haven't owned my own car since I guess in the past two years or so. So that's also been a thing like when I'm home, it's hard to really go out and hang out with people or friends when I don't have a way to get anywhere. That's something that will definitely change once the summer starts. I'm going to get my own car for work and all that. Um, but yeah, the mo both of those things are... So the car thing, I kind of figured out. The money thing is something I didn't kind of seem to start to get over. I've saved pretty much every dollar I've ever made my whole life um, without really spending anything at all. I overthink every money spending decision I've ever made, including like buying lunch. I start thinking things through like, do I really want to spend... $12 on a sushi bowl that I, I know I absolutely love and enjoy every time or would I rather save five six seven dollars and get Taco Bell for lunch like those kind of my decisions yeah obviously has a big savings kind of thing but to get one of the, my favorite foods in Newark every once in a while shouldn't be that hard of a decision for me um in addition to that in general I feel like I just want to make more friends I have acquaintances people I'm cool with I hang out with whatever but like there's no one I'm really like close friends with where I like talk to them like go out of my way to talk to them and reach out to them and hang out with them um and also even though I said I'm decently so like I'm decent in social situations I'm not really a social person I don't go out of my way to talk to people or hang out or go to these events and I want to get a little more social just because I think it's a little more makes life a little easier in general just going to events for example I'm at the age where a lot of friends I made in college stuff eventually they're going to get married like within the next probably five years or so I feel like there's a lot of events where like if I'm invited to weddings and stuff I need to be able to kind of 
hang out with a random group of people and have a decent time for my own sake and for the people around me. Um, and then one of the big things, especially in this final semester of college, I'm at the point where none of my classes matter that much in the long run. Like, obviously I need to pass. I want to learn in my classes, do well, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, I put way too much work into my classes and work in general. So I feel like I need to start putting aside some of that work and have a little more fun, do some of these spontaneous, exciting things and focus a little less on getting 100 on every assignment I ever have. Realistically, I've done the math. I can get, a, I think, a D in every single class I'm in and still graduate with high honors like summa cum laude or magna cum laude, whichever is the highest one. I always forget. I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, whatever. Um, But anyway, like those kind of things just don't matter as much in the long run. Every time I talk to an adult, they've never been like, oh, I wish I got an A in this class instead of a B. That would have changed my life. That's never the case. So I feel like if that's not the case later in life and I can trust, you know, the people I look up to, the adults I talk to, and I keep saying adults like I'm not an adult. I mean, you know, people with more experience in their late 20s, early 30s, that kind of thing. Um, that have been, you know, in my situation very recently, but have been in the workforce long enough that they kind of know the ropes a bit. But in any case, um, pretty much my goal is I'm forcing myself to have fun. I not really, I always describe myself like when I'm hanging out with people I'm close with, I'm not a fun person and I want to force myself to become more of a fun person. I think the best way to do that is to force myself in situations that everyone else in the world finds fun. Um... Some examples of how I'm doing this. Last week, I talked about it a little bit. Um, I went to one of my closest college friends' parties in the city. That was last weekend. We went to like a cool bar in the city. Um, I didn't drink or anything. We just kind of hung out. And I'll be honest, wasn't the greatest time of my life kind of thing. Like, it was cool. I was really happy to be there for my friend and see all her friends, whatever. But I'm not a bar person. And it was fine, but I didn't like have a blast. Um, that's part of the thing where I'm hoping that if I go to more of those events, it becomes a little less stressful for me and I can cut back a bit and enjoy those events even more. Um, also I've been trying to go to more of like the seminars hosted at my school, especially civil engineering type seminars. Last week I went to one by, um, the president of a pretty popular civil engineering firm. Um, the week before that I went to an another seminar for, or actually earlier that last week, actually. I'm going to the ASC meetings and stuff, which um, is the club I used to be president of. We're bringing guest speakers and all that. And usually when I'm at those events, I'm more focused on making sure everything goes well throughout the presentation rather than kind of really listening to the presentation and enjoying the presentations and learning from them. So I'm trying to be more of a member than a leader in those cases. And then even today, I'm planning on going, there's a graduate seminar where they civil engineering department's bringing in guest speakers to talk to specifically graduates, but anyone's welcome. So I'm hoping to go to one of those today and see if going to more of those events kind of gives me a crowd to be with and also I get something out of it. Um, on the more fun side of things rather than seminars, I'm going to a network event later tonight, actually. Um, a civil engineering firm is inviting pretty much our civil engineering department out to a close by beer garden, and I'm going to go to that even though I don't drink and I have minimal interest in the company hosting it. I think it's just one of those situations where it's good to make connections with people at in the working field kind of thing and hang out with people in my civil department in a more social setting rather than just a work setting at school. Um, and then the big one, I'm kind of building up to all these because next weekend, like not this upcoming one, the one after, I'm going to be heading to Atlantic City for the weekend. Originally, I was pretty much against this, but I'm trying to become more social, like I'm saying. So I said yes. And not only am I going, the primary reason of going is one of my friends is having a bodybuilding competition there. He has been working real hard on himself the past year, basically. Um, he recently won like a award among his small group of like bodybuilders because he's done a real great job and I want to be there to support him. So that's kind of the main reason of going. That's on that Saturday, but I'm going down Friday night so that I could kind of hang out with some friends and stuff Friday night, do that Saturday, hang out Saturday night with him, and then come back Saturday. So just turning it into more of a weekend, like a lot of the people heading down 
they want to go hang out at the casinos, all that kind of stuff. And I want to be part of that just so that for the sake of trying to be social and hope that if I force myself in these situations, eventually it'll start becoming fun to me or I'll start to get more out of it. Um, this was obviously a very awkward kind of show um, today. I feel like this is one of those where most people might not understand what I'm trying to say when it's like, oh, doing fun things is stressful or doing fun things are not fun to me. Like, it sounds like I'm being, I don't know, pretentious or something, but it's just one of those things... I don't know. It I've always it's one of those things that I always struggle with, um, on a personal level. Like people will be like, Oh, what do you do for fun? What do you enjoy doing? What do you like? And I don't have answers for any of those questions. And it's something that I guess concerns me. Usually my answer to those questions that I say are like, Oh, I like watching football or fancy football or something, which A isn't a super common thing. It's hard to like connect with someone with that. And B I do that. I do enjoy doing that, but I treat it as more of a job. Like I very structured and methodical about it. I study it and like listen to um, podcasts about it to learn. And it's like not really a fun thing where I cut loose and hang out and do it. It's like a task that I accomplish and I like it. It's just hard to describe it as fun. And I don't know if that's, if what I'm doing is my version of fun or if that's just not something I find fun and there's other things I need to try to are fun um anyway now that I've thoroughly embarrassed myself to the zero people watching this video I'm gonna wrap it up I'll see you all tomorrow and as always thank you for watching see you then